This is my home. I'm leaving the comforts of my home on a Saturday to interview the makers of Blair Witch Project. There really is only one Blair Witch Project. It was shot for about $40,000. Tell me where you are, John! Made to look like found footage, this horror film. Wound up making $250 million at the box office. Nobody's been able to duplicate that success ever. I want to find out, how did they do it? As long as I don't get lost, it just might get my answer. And now I'm lost. Uh, I'm not sure. It must have taken a turn somewhere. Of course, this story isn't about me being lost in the woods. It's about the, the people who made the Blair Witch Project. So I don't know even why I'm, I'm shooting this. And I... I don't know what that sound is. It's been about 20 years now, and we're still talking about Blair Witch Project, which is fun. That night, at a fundraiser for Linwood Theater, Bainbridge Island residents line up for tickets and fresh popcorn, and to revisit a cultural phenomenon made by a team that includes their neighbors, Dan and Julia Myrick. It was the best pitch I've, I've ever come up with. When you tell somebody that you're a film company that found out about these three filmmakers disappearing in the woods and what's left behind are their film reels and we got the reels, who doesn't want to see what's on those reels? All filmmakers are like, I cannot believe you have this. Yeah. What a great story. Dan was co-writer and co-director. Julia, among other things, made the creepy stick figures. <laughs> The film was shot in eight days with unknown actors improvising their lives. I don't know why you have to have every conversation on video. Because we're making a documentary. Not about us getting lost, we're making a documentary about a witch. Our mandate was like, if anything, any frame of film feels contrived, it's got to go. I'm scared to close my eyes. The result is a movie that convinced audiences what they were seeing was real. Blair Witch Project became a worldwide sensation that put Dan and co-director Ed Sanchez on the cover of Time magazine. What are we doing here? <laughs> what the heck's going on? Two decades later, the Myricks say the lesson of Blair Witch downstairs. is that people really will believe in the most bizarre made-up stories. You know, we say in X-Files, I want to believe. It is very true. If you want to believe in a fear, you will talk yourself into it. <laughs>